All right, so uh, this is going to be a Scorpio Sun, uh, Scorpio Moon and Scorpio Rising, a weekly general tarot reading April 20th to April 26th, uh, 2020. And in case any of you guys is interested in a, a private reading with me, and uh, you can uh, check out the description down below and there you're going to find a link to my website from which you can purchase such. And as well, uh, if you're interested in to start learning to or to start reading tarot cards, I'm offering a six weeks a um, live tarot classes in which I'm going to teach you about the major arcana, how to use them in terms of career, relationship in a positive and in a negative standpoint in terms of the, the um, spread that I'm using. And it's uh, a major arcana friendly spread and as well, um, pretty much I use it for almost everything. So it's a, a very solid one. And uh, by the end of the course, you will be able to read your cards by yourself. So, Scorpio, first one here, which marks the topic of your week, is going to be Five of Pentacles, followed by the next one, which represents the energies that are feeding and supporting the topic. That is to be the Nine of Wands. Afterwards, what we do have, it is the uh, challenge that you will have to overcome here. That will be the Nine of Swords. Afterwards, we do have the gifts and the blessings that uh, you are to enjoy. We are to enjoy. And that's a huge one. Um, in that follow-up, though, um, we are going through, we are going to enjoy the uh, Ace of Swords. Followed by the impression that you are leaving into the people around. Another huge one, that will be the Four of Pentacles. And the final card we have, it is the Guidance. My God. So to be honest, um, when I watch, when I look at those three, it was meh, but those three, my God. I mean, they, they gave the real, how can I say it? The, the, the real narrative of the reading. So let's uh, have a look what we do have here. Cause uh, that's, that's um, a big one to say the least, okay? So first of all, um, we have the energies, and uh, that will be the energy of the Nine of Wands, that it is uh, cooperating with the Five of Pentacles, which stands into the situation. And uh, those two cards are forming such kind of a, uh, a whirlwind, I don't know how to say it the other way around, that uh, we will start becoming increasingly um, insecure, that is the situation itself of the Five of Pentacles, but why is the question? Because with the energies, we are to be placed in a rather awkward situations. We're not used to at all because the nine of wands in, in energy, especially it's first of all, is the energy of not letting down, not, not giving up, obviously, because the person stands there, you know, battered and but however, he have not gave up yet. Also, it is a uh, uh, it is an energy of a, a vast experience. That we can incorporate but that experience it's not quite aligned to what we are going through and therefore we have to make some adaptations changes okay we we simply need and those they they need to be conscious it's not like a uh, uh, we have to let it happen whatever it's happening all right we just need to kind of understand what is the right thing to do and we have to do it and uh, because it is a thing that goes outside of your current experience, that is what causes the situation to be very fragile, fragile in our mind though, and uh, to make us feel quite insecure. I will give you an example. I mean, I can give you uh, hundreds and thousands of examples. And the, the easiest one, it is that you have been asked to do something for your boss and you are very uncertain that you will be able to make it because you don't have the experience. I mean, your experience dictated to you different stuff than what your boss asks you to do. And so you have to align your experience with what your boss asks you to do and do the necessary readaptations, measurements, um, yeah, measurements as well, you know, and, and changes in generally in a way you perform, in a way you tackle with things so you can fulfill your boss's expectations. Because if you don't, obviously you feel insecure, right? That that may be your last task at uh, the work that you are standing. Although it won't be, because we are going to see that afterwards. But this is why I said that the first three, meh. The last three, my God. So, um, yeah, so we are to be very 
uh, how can I say it, doubtful throughout the week and we have to face, to, to be fair by looking at those cards, our own insecurities. Otherwise, if that wasn't nine of wands there, it was something like seven of wands, for example, or I don't know, maybe four of cups. We are talking about an exterior things that are making us insecure. Here, these are our own insecurities, you know, the, the, the fear of doing wrong things and the fear of causing problems. That is the, that is the, most, the most important thing. You know, your boss asks you to do something for them and you are saying, oh my God, if I screw this one around, I am only going to cause problems to the company, to the boss and etc. etc. And that is what exactly causes insecurities. So that uh, moves us to the next one, which is going to be the challenge. And the challenge is the Nine of Swords, pretty trivial, especially in this uh, narrative. Nine of Swords, all about the consequences, all about the results of our actions, our fear of the results of our actions, our fear of the consequences of our actions. And that is the challenge, to overcome that fear, that sooner or later we have to face those circumstances, either in this job, either in this relationship, either in this friendship, either in this family, if you will. So the Nine of Swords here, it will be the challenge where you will simply have to make our peace, the things comes and go, and eventually we have to let it go or happen. I don't know how to say it, because for, for different people it will be, or for different, different individuals is going to be in a different uh, in a different way but what i'm trying to say here is that we need to let go of the fear of being fired just because we thought we did the right thing and it it, it wasn't all right or the, the, we have to let go of the fear that we are going to be left alone from our i don't know partner in in relationship or from our family or from our friends as well you know just because we did something we thought it's not a big deal or it's something right but it turned out to be wrong because by a, a a trial and error it is probably how we are going to learn all right uh, but without trying it we are never going to know um and uh, to be honest the nine of wands here gives me a lot of hope because it points that we're going to learn very quickly only if we are allowed to do to to do so okay if the other side which could be a person which could be a situation is rather favorable to allow us to adapt because it, it it really what comes to to adapt to the uh to the new circumstances here which are going to be great by the way and this is where we go to the sweet stuff so uh moving next uh, we are having the um energies that are feeding and supporting the topic that is to be the energy of the uh, ace of swords so not the energy i'm sorry the gifts and the blessings i'm very tired guys probably you can see it in my eyes but uh gifts and the blessings okay so with the gifts and the blessings um the ace of swords represents the reality and the truth for yourself for where you're standing, how you are standing, how you're gonna get there. And also that will be the gift through, very important gift by, or at least for myself, I can speak for myself here, uh, a, a gift of spiritual strength. And under spiritual strength, I mean, uh, for me, that is to be the gift to bend the knee, if I need to, because I am pretty terrible into it, to twist my own ways. And understanding here with the previous cards, now, maybe your ways are not exactly the ways that you have been expected, you know, and they are not going to produce any results. But you can learn the new ways, you know, bending the knee. It is a uh, an appropriate action. And I'm not meaning it in the like as a subjugation. I'm meaning it like to, um, to just, you know, give yourself to it and either your business or either your, you know, love or whatever. So with that being said, you are to be, uh, we are to be gifted with the true vision, okay? The true vision of how things are and what we got to do. And are we going to do it? And also, are we going to be allowed to do it? Is another question here, as we can see in the cards. Uh, it's a completely different matter, but at least we are going to know. Another thing about the Ace of Swords, and especially if we're talking about relationships and also careers, though, is that throughout this week, we aren't going to be lied. Okay, so whatever it's told to us, it will be the truth, at least according to the card. Uh, or uh, even if we have been, uh, uh, even if there were an attempt for us, uh, for someone to lie to us, or right, someone to lie to us to make an attempt to do so, 
very very quickly the truth is going to be revealed i mean almost instantly or in a day after so it seems that uh, once again everything will become clear throughout the week and um, we are very quickly going to understand though that um, it's worth it because uh, with these two cards but with that card though but before we go there let's have a look of what is the impression for example of your boss your boyfriend or a girlfriend your husband or a wife your family that is the impression and there is only one sentence i can translate that card and that is the uh, their impression it is that you are capable to ensure a, a secured future that's why your boss gives you this task that's why your uh, family counts on you you know that's why um someone gives you a rough time if you will that's why uh, it is just because they count on you these people count on you because they do see hope in you or not hope but it is like you are the right thing for them and it's only come we are the right thing for them and only it's coming to how well we are to adapt to that situation and if not being able to be successful straight away at least learn how to so it's here we have to put into bear, you know, our uh, adaptivity and the ability to be a, a quick learner. As I do not suspect that we are to be forgiven many times in case we do fail. I mean, one failure, that is understandable, okay? But uh, if we show that we haven't learned our lesson, most likely we are going to fail the challenge and we are going to fail the expectations and etc etc and it's just things are not going to go the good way and a good way they can go so um another thing about uh, the uh, four of pentacles it is that people are going to uh, as i said expectations they will also have a certain expectations that we do not give up in a sense of that um, because the five the four of pentacles is about adopting rather defensive position whatever you do have with your boss say or with your husband or a wife you have to be there and fight for it and as they see that you are how can i say it with that affinity because this is their impression okay they will expect that from you they will expect that from us and uh, that is exactly the the vision that implants the sense of that we are fighting to ensure a, a secure future not exactly fighting let's say determined because one will fight another is going to be uh, less than uh, in a less than a battle right they just need to show intention it will be with a different magnitude for every for every single different individual of a scorpio but nonetheless uh, my um, my stress here or rather like what I'm trying to stress you uh, to stress you about is that um, or to make a stress on I don't know how to say it it is that a, a big hopes are placed on us for one or another thing and it's, uh, we have to uh, we have to provide on those hopes why you may ask well because um, we do have this one and that will be the hermit and um, the hermit pretty much stands for anything that is substantial so this is what I, what happens to us throughout the week this is what is given to us throughout the week that is a, a substantial that is maybe the most important that is maybe the most important thing that it is to happen to us in the near in the far future or maybe for the entirety of our life all right and uh, Another thing about the hermit is that not everybody is going to be pleased of it. All right, that, that's the that's the curse of the hermit, that he identifies the substantial thing for him, uh, and with intelligence and wisdom understands that that's it. You know, that's my light that shines for me into the darkness, and goes into that direction. Unfortunately, that direction it is not the direction of everybody around him, and people starts to hate him. And that's why we, or you, we, should care less who hates us or who does not want us do certain do certain things. But we should care more for those who are unconditionally supporting us into that direction. Because um, there will be much fewer people than you are expecting that are going to applaud you once you understand that... Uh, in which tunnel of yours that you are baffling to take on right now as there is a light at the end of it 
and you are going to see it. So we are going to see it, Scorpio. So hopefully we do not fear because fear is detrimental, disintegrates one's soul, one's determination and eventually consumes one's life. So that being said, uh, this was our weekly tarot reading for April 20th to April 26, 2020. Hopefully you enjoyed it as much as I did. Um, it was really a good one. And uh, at least for me, though. And uh, again, if you are interested in a private reading with me, checking out the description down below is going to give you a link to my website from which you can purchase such. And as well, if you are um, interested in learning to read tarot cards and you like the way I do it, I am offering you six weeks live online tarot classes in which I'm going to explain you all the major arcana, how to interpret them in terms of career questions, in terms of relationship questions. Uh, in a positive and a negative way and they are standing into the position in, in the positions of the uh, spread that I have chose uh, a spread that I do use for the classes and as well for my private readings it's a, a very solid one and it is a, a major arcana okay, friendly meaning that once you finish that course this beginners course you are set to do your own personal and maybe private readings as well so, uh, yeah, that being said, guys, hopefully you're going to stay safe now and see you next time. Until then, bye.